hey y'all welcome back to my <laughs> eco lifestyle let's play oh my gosh it feels so weird seeing this house because it's like i've been playing my rags to riches series i've been recording it kind of like back to back non-stop because it's just so new and so fun but um i definitely have missed marie oliver and roxy because if y'all watch my rags to riches series you guys know it is crazy chaotic but the this part this i think is a little bit more farther in so if you're hearing this part you probably may already have only seen like two parts or three of my rag switches series so these last two parts that i just filmed for it were crazy but we're not going to talk about that because I don't want to spoil anything in that until I know the part is like already up. But let me tell y'all, something crazy happened with the best in my Rex to Riches series. So definitely check it out because mind blown. I'm convinced I have bad luck with this family. Convinced. So, and once again, it does feel weird seeing this home because... I just decorated the home for my uh, Rags to Riches series, a Sim Luna. She just got a fully beautiful decorated home and this one, hmm, I just find the downstairs to be a little bit so blah, <laughs> like it's not as like decorated, like it feels like a big just open space. Um, even the outside as well, and we have the money, y'all, to, 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 to fix it up, but we're just not, <laughs> we just haven't been <laughs> doing that. I don't know what she's gonna do, oh, she's gonna do the research. Let's actually go ahead and use the recycler. We need to recycle some things. Oh, I just remember, so Hubby was working on, yeah, let's upgrade, let's recycle those, um, upgrade parts as well um so hubby was working on making us a dining table last time i checked and he was taking a break from um being a freelance crafter he was taking a break from that so that he can just kind of focus on getting us some more money to move into our dream home um though should we just make it like basic yeah let's just do that I think now we can just fabricate the table and then we have two chairs and we'll just make more chairs when it's time. It's so funny because I just catched caught up on James um, Rags Richard series, well Rags Development, and he is having the worst luck with the um, fabricator. Um, I don't know. I find that I've been, I haven't had too many bad experiences with the fabricator. I feel like it's been going quite well for me at least so no complaints here <laughs> sorry to um, James uh, I'm also gonna just sell all of this stuff I know I've been collecting biofuel because a big dream of mine was to own a family home that was off the grid but I was playing an off-the-grid rag switches and y'all will see that that was basically a hot mess. So we're gonna move into our dream house and leave it as a B. Um, not gonna do off the grid. <laughs> Watch my Rex and Riches series to see my gripe with The Sims 4's off the grid. Oh, he's got a little nameplate, how cute. So here is our table. Yay, we have a table. We have a dining table now. And I, I like how you can't clone these. You have to make them. That's the requirement. Love it. But we have a dining table now, something that we made all on our own. I'm not gonna lie though, the fabricated table is cute. The fabricated chairs, not so much. I'm gonna have her go to sleep up here. All right, we'll cut back to the morning. Mind you, we, we gave a space for Roxy and Roxy does not sleep in her bed. And I'm saying that and Roxy is probably trotting her way up to her bed right now as we speak. <laughs> I might add Winston back to our family. Um, so what I saw, um, I tried this with my, um, my Rags to Riches. 
the cat kept disappearing um, and then the cat got sick and then we couldn't afford the cat uh, treatment so I had to like basically get rid of the cat until um, I removed it from my family I didn't like put it up for adoption I removed it from my family and then I brought it back so I think we're gonna bring back Winston y'all um, Winston should be here for Marie's first baby because Winston was Marie's first baby so we're definitely gonna invite Winston back and I'm just gonna use the cheats to obviously like add him back to the family Roxy wants to go out so let's let Roxy out because she's being exhausting go Roxy oh it's Winterfest today We've got to decorate and get in the holiday spirits. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna fix up the house now, you guys. I think I might even make the baby's nursery as well, even though we don't know what the baby is yet. I'm just gonna put down some baby stuff and I'm also gonna fix up this house. So we're gonna do that with a time lapse. So cue the time lapse now. Alrighty y'all, so <laughs> I just did a lot of decorating and <laughs> I spent most of our money downstairs and like windows and doors. So something that I, I want to point out is that I absolutely hate how like jagged the Eagle Lifestyle windows are. Like why is this so completely out? Like what is this? But in the inside of the home, it doesn't look like that. It's like a regular window. So, and then this triangle one just fits perfectly by the kitchen wind, by the kitchen sink. That's why I got that. I am not good at outdoor decorating. This probably does not look good together, y'all. But I just like these colors together. Uh, I think what makes it a lot harder too is that you can't really change any of the other homes in your area So your house always kind of looks out of place and there's some more I could have definitely have done to like decorate the outside But we're running low on simoleons and we have a baby to take care of quite soon I'm going to also get Winston back into our family as y'all can see I added two doggy bowls here so she's i'm gonna have marie fill these up I, I forgot to finish our dining table um but it is winter fest i love this holiday um we're not doing father christmas so i decided to decorate our home like i decorated this portion of the home christmasy and this is something i plan to like do like moving forward like decorating for all the different seasons i bought this game because i love seasons 
um, in The Sims 3 and in The Sims 4, but I never decorate my home to go with the seasons. And the greatest thing about this is that I can just put all of this stuff in my inventory and just reuse it every holiday. So that's what we're gonna do. So she is she's hungry. We're inviting Winston so that we can get him back in our life. Uh, I'm gonna have her cook the grand meal one time and done. Um, since it's early, we're gonna do the grand breakfast. Yay, Winston will be right over. We're gonna add Winston back. There he is. There's little Winston. Okay, I'm gonna just use cheats to add him back into our family. Yay, we've got we've got Winston back in our family. Oh, he still needs to go to the vet, by the way. Um, we're gonna take him after we enjoy our grand breakfast. So we've did the decorating because I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we are going to place present pile under the tree. I'm going to decorate with a tree skirt. Let's go with white and gold. He's decorating the tree. Um, so that's what's going to get the festive spirit going. Clean that up. I need to add some chairs back to the table, y'all. So let me do that. I'm going to sell this book because I don't really want it. <laughs> Alright, let me go into build mode and get some dining chairs. I did everything but get dining chairs. <laughs> I also decorated our bathroom. I actually like our bathroom a lot. Like, I like how it looks now. Perfect. Doesn't this house just look so much more livelier, more homely than it was when I first started into this part? It was looking kind of bare. I took my time decorating, looking through everything, and I just love our little Christmas area. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were about to eat something. I was like, don't eat yet. Okay, he's not even hungry. He wants to open presents. Do I have to buy a present pile for us to open presents? Okay, I think we do. So you can remove the present pile because it doesn't 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 really work. Um, let's admire the lights. Let's light the tree. I'm gonna each have them do one thing. So he's going to do popcorn and cranberries. So they're each going to do, sorry, they're each going to do two things to decorate the tree to fulfill the um, requirement for this to be a, a successful holiday, which is the festive spirit. Um, there we go. So I'm going to each have them do two things. So he's doing the ornaments and he did the garland underneath the tree. And Maria is going to just do up the rest as well as add the topper. She's just not feeling very well right now. Oh, she peed herself. Oops. Oops. Probably from making the grand breakfast. Alrighty, she's going to, I'm gonna call it a grand meal. He needs to eat this as well. I'm gonna call him to the grand meal. He's not very hungry but I want him to eat as well because it's a festive. It's festive. Oh, we're having a baby on Christmas day, you guys. Oh my goodness, how perfect is this? So she's gone into labor. I need her to eat though. Don't mop. I want her to eat first. Go ahead, take a bite. I just realized. Oh, he's going into pre, pre prenatal panic. Don't panic. Be called to milk. No, it's okay. Eat your food. There we go. Sit, sit down next to Oliver, who already finished eating. All right, we've got to take what's his face to the vet after uh, Marie gives birth. I'm going to have Oliver take Winston to the vet. Don't panic. Don't panic. She's going to eat. And then she's going to give birth to the baby oh it's so cute already eat finish eating your grand breakfast girl so we can have this baby i'm so nervous can you guys tell that i'm stalling i don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl and i don't know what i'm gonna name it if it's a boy or a girl 
goodness gracious. We have Marie and Oliver. What's a name you would give a baby? And we have Winston and we have Roxy. I don't know. I have an idea for a boy already right now. I don't have a name for a girl. She about to go into labor on her own <laughs> if, at this rate. Alrighty, she's gonna come have the baby, y'all. I've got a name for a boy down pack, not a name for a girl. So let's go upstairs and have this baby. Come on. I thought she wasn't gonna make it up the stairs. Alrighty, y'all. Woo! Okay. Are y'all ready for this? Cause I'm not ready for this. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh. Whoops, it wasn't. It's a girl! <laughs> Um, her last name is supposed to be Pennington, not McKinley. Whoops. Pennington. First name. The greatest. I don't know what to name this baby, y'all. I had a boy's name, but not a girl's name. Princess? Who would I name? Oh, Molly's a cute name. Okay, y'all. I figured out a name. <laughs> um, I'm gonna name this baby. Whoops, I think I'm spelling it wrong. Hold on. Oops. Yeah. Spelling it wrong. Zoel. Zoel? I think I'm saying this right. Zoel. And it's apparently Greek for the meaning of life. And I'm naming her Life because this is The Sims 4 Equal Lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, how corny is that? But that's all like, like, I just typed in a letter that I wanted to use and this was one of the first names that caught my eye. So... Let me make sure I'm saying this right. I think it's Zoel. Yeah, Zoel. Zoel Pennington. There we go. Baby girl is Zoel Pennington. And she does not look like either parent. What? What kind of... <laughs> I'm second guessing here. I'm just playing. She's a cute baby. I'm going to stop being silly. Um... Oh, I just noticed her clothes have a- Did the girls always come with a pat- The babies in The Sims always come with a pattern on it? I never noticed that. Oh, we need to pee. We need to pee. Um, I'm gonna breastfeed this baby real quick, and then we gonna have Marie go pee. Cause, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm also gonna put our grand breakfast in the fridge. We have a winter fest baby, y'all. Or Christmas, if you want to call it Christmas. I'm gonna just leave it as winter fest. It's winter fest to me, at least. We have a winter fest baby. What? How? I have. That is. That's just so stinking cute to me. Cause we have a holiday that's just full of fun and joy and presents. And the best gift that we could have ever gotten today was Zoel. Zoel, 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 Zoel Pennington. I'm gonna decorate baby Zoel's nursery and then I'm going to end the part after that. And I'm off camera, I'm gonna try to, to take both dogs to the vet and just get them a wellness check and that way that could prevent them from just getting sick again and seeing if that also will help reset Winston because he seems to be sick but they're saying it doesn't say take him to the vet either. So let's get started on this decorating this bedroom and then obviously um, in the next part we're gonna finish up Winterfest and then really enjoy our beautiful little baby Zoel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, y'all. So I try to go with a yellow theme for this room, though I find that yellow is probably one of the hardest colors to work with. Um, I tried to decorate it as best as I could. Um, I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna have Oliver, oh yes, he was already coming anyway, come change her dirty diaper, and just kind of get to know his little daughter, because he hasn't seen her at all since uh, my darling uh, Marie gave birth, and uh, I try to like buy a whole bunch of, oops, I wanted to buy a whole bunch of toys, but oh gosh, yellow is definitely a hard color to work with, y'all. Um, there's not many good color swatches of yellow, and then I feel like the walls, when they were yellow, it just made the room look like, ugh. 
but I feel like it also just brings a lightness to this room as well. It's also very playful and just very childlike and it's not too like quote unquote like girls girly bedroom. It just feel like it's a more like you know like yellow was a softer color that doesn't necessarily like make it feel like it's too stereotypically girly girl nursery or boy nursery like it just feels like a very neutral color that is just light and open like i'm just keep repeating myself but you guys get the point that's why i wanted to go with yellow i was gonna go with pink at first but then that wallpaper that i found was way too loud for this room i was like uh -uh. i don't even know what to title this part because a lot of exciting things happened in this part we got winston back so well was born this is just like the most perfect part um and we also redecorated our house so a lot of updates in this part um but so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next part i'm so excited we have a little baby now thank you so much for watching again i keep saying thank you so much for watching i'm just gonna go now